Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Sumai campaign. We pick up for episode 9 from turn 63 in the autumn season of the year 303. Uh, last episode, we fought, uh, we ended with a big fight right outside of the city of Puyang. The administrator led a force out uh, and attacked our army. We held them back. Uh, Sima Jian leveled up. We can pick up, let's see, what do we need? Uh, Scare is quite good. Uh, plus 10 morale on territory is good. Mm, that was not bad. Increased ambush chance, but I'm not a big fan of ambushes. Capturing officers are nice. Endurance is nice. So I guess I'm going to go down a vengeance, uh, vengeance first. The scare is really useful. It's a nice hit to morale. Uh, we're going to just be taking over the city now. If you look at the defense here, they only have 7 units left. They do have 3 trebuchets on the wall because they have a military infrastructure building chain inside. So we have to just uh, fight around that. But other than that, only 7 units, we definitely got this. We're going to be fighting it and cutting it out because if we delegate, it's going to give us plenty of casualties because we're going against arrow towers and these trebuchets. So see y'all then. Alrighty. That was uneventful. We just used our trebuchets and hit them. Uh, we lost two units? Hmm. I don't know how we lost two units. Don't remember seeing that. But anyways, let's occupy. Alright, so we captured it. Why is there a sad face? Our general's unhappy. Why? Did he? Because he ranked up? Yeah, mostly because he ranked up. And the low reserve in the in the town they just captured is the problem. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely fix it up. Puyang is one of the better commanders in the game. Very, very good commander. We don't need that. We don't need that. We need the government workshop for sure. And we need the private workshop. We need the in-building and a marketplace building. And we need assignment here ASAP. Alright, they no longer can replenish because they're now in our territory. We should grab the copper mine first. Hmm, what should we do about Sima Jian? I kind of have a desire to promote him as our um, chancellor here. He also gets along with everyone. And this will boost our peasantry, which is not really a big deal. The more th the big deal is that we actually need him to fight, so he'll continue to gain level and then he's going to continue to be unhappy. Um, we just gotta make sure he is not a spy, which I don't think he is. I think he came to us without a prior record. Yep. So we will definitely agree to just give him a big promotion. He'll be our chancellor. So now he should be decently happy. That symbol just didn't upgrade. Update. We have a level up. Uh, let's see. What do we want him to do? I guess eventually we want him to go out in battle, so we need to get reach. So let's pick this up. We're eventually going to go down this route here. Uh, give him a more resolved item. Let's see. Wu Ling has the negative 67. This is about to go hit 100. There will be a rebellion in three turns. Okay, so there is going to be a rebellion to fight. That's interesting. Do we have an um, administrator in town? We do. Doesn't really have a good army though. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull him out, give him a good army, and then send him right back. Um, we'll do that pretty easily here. Not going to cost us very much. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. We could do the swap, but there's really no point because we're recalling him right away. We're going. Oh, so the Dal Sword Guards are a new unit. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna give him a full retinue of Archer Jin, and then we're gonna recall him. And then after one more turn, he'll go back in, and then Changsha will have two full retinues, including him inside, so he'll be very safe. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to continue to upgrade it. Yeah, it's doing its work. Tang Wu here. We could sell food right now. Six more food. Get more reformation. 
get more money. That's pretty good. We also could have like upgrade the livestock farm. Nah, this is cheaper right now. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, I'm gonna try to squeeze a little bit more savings out. So right now his set is the um, academic set, which reduces market uh, market buildings, which we already upgraded fully. So now we want the one that does agriculture farm. So we want a clay ox. Let's see if we have a clay ox. Oh, we actually don't. So actually that doesn't matter. Hmm, unfortunate. So since we don't have that discount, we actually should replace him with a builder. With a one turn less. And replace this with more of a expertise item, which we don't have. Huh, Sandy. You have the wrong item, man. Here, take some uh, expertise, uh, uh, instinct, and we'll give him the iron sickle. Don't have any good items to give him now. That's it. Now the new price is two turns, six twelve. So we save a turn, we save some money. Just barely any money, but still, the turn is really useful. And that's everything. All right, our armies have all moved. Nope, Smize army hasn't moved. We capture the trade port. We know they have army here. We want the spice market before we want the city. So let's go this way. He's in camp, so he can't. Uh, he might run. We can try to catch him. Oh, he's willing to fight us. What a fool. Alright, Gu Zhen is going to die here then. That's not Gu Zhen himself. I don't know where he is actually, but this is just his army, I guess. Let's take him on. Alright guys, unfortunately it's rainy, so we can't really set this entire wall on fire like we would like. Um, but we, this is a big nice open area, we'll fight here. The goal is basically just knock down the towers, uh, shoot them down. Uh, they're not going to come out. Um, yeah, not too exciting, but maybe we can get a few duels in as well. There's a strategist who can't duel, but the other general I think... Uh, might want to do us. Here's to hoping. Alright. We will just let them all focus to the front. Alright, we're going to spend most of our first shots into taking down the towers here. These towers are kind of worthless. They have very small range. Uh, we just want to take down the main towers here. Why are we moving forward? Why can't we just hit them now? What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. I'll let them move closer to the point and then I'll manually aim, I guess? Oh, they're coming out. They're coming out. Never mind. Oh, gotta hurry. Uh, fire, 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 fire. No time. Gotta save what we can. This is new. Our trebuchets are just not doing anything. Alright, we will take this duel, but not now. Wow, our trebuchet is just getting slaughtered here. They're just not listening to us. What are you guys doing? That's just great. Anyways, that was unfortunate. Let's make sure we get all these guys ready to face the enemy army. These are archers are still working. Alright, are we closer? Yeah, I guess we're closer. They got wiped. Alright, that's fine. They got wiped. Alright, hold on here. They will charge in. We'll use these as the gauge of where the range is for the enemy um, arrow towers. Alright. At least our uh, crossbow units aren't getting shot at yet. This one's getting a little bit of arrow fire, but I think it's just splatter damage from hitting them. We'll still beat them back. Uh, some of them are retreating, which is strange. We lost our trebuchet unit. That kind of sucks. 
overconfident. All those garrison battle we fought where they had no uh, generals, they don't come out anymore. But apparently now there's generals in encampment, they come out. Surprised. We can't charge because they have these things up. Uh, we're gonna have to use our uh, archer of Zin to wipe out those with fire arrows later. And they were kind of malfunctioning in the beginning too, because we were in range, but we couldn't get them to shoot over. Alright, let's finish him off. At least all their range units are done. Come on, Samai. Let's do cinematic mode. We still don't have a good weapon for him. Maybe we can trade for Puyang's weaponsmith and get a nice new spear or something. Get him. Now he's pretty fierce. Oh, we're getting we're taking a beating. Let's finish him. There we go. Ooh, off with his leg. Nice. Okay. So what do we do now with the rest of their forces? They retreated back. Aren't they the smart cookie? Alright, we're back on our horse. We're getting shot by arrows. Let's, get, let's pull out first. So without trebuchets, it feels like we have to move our spear units up to tank the arrow towers. And then we're gonna turn on fire arrows for them to shoot down the arrow towers and then have um, crossbow unit and then whittle down the enemy troops and probably charge in, charge in with our cavalry later. This turned out to be quite a costly fight. Alright, we gotta wait till they get into range. Why, who are they shooting at? What, what were they shooting at? Dead bodies? Why? Archer Zin can fire and move, but why would they shoot at dead bodies? Are we getting shot at yet? Almost. Okay, we're getting shot at. Now we want Archer Zin to go up and shoot down turrets. Uh, they can probably go in lose formation just in case they get shot. But right now they're getting sh these guys are getting shot, so we should be okay. They're guarding like different gates. I don't know. AI behavior is a little weird. Haven't found a pattern to it to take advantage of the situation. Fire. There we go. It's raining. It's going to take a few shots. But we can definitely get it over 50 pretty soon. And since we have the ammo for it, we might as well just shoot it all the way to 100. That way the damage goes a little faster and our guys can tank it a little bit less. Yeah, it's not hard for us to get to 100. Alright, let's shoot this one now. Perfect. They're not getting shot at, so that's good. We did lose one because I think it was intercept intersecting with them and the arrow just found them instead. Happens. Alright, that's on fire. Go back to regular arrows. All these guys can move up. Uh, these two guys can go back to normal. And continue to move up. As long as we're not in those circles, we're fine. Alright, get ready to charge in. Alright. We still have some archers. Hmm. Take those guys down. There we go. Alright, now it's just massacre by our archers. Alright. Not not a bad win. We lost our trebuchet, which really sucks, but 
Not bad. Alrighty. We did lose our tribuchet, which kind of sucks, but we did beat the army. Um, it's going to take a while for that to recover. Again, replenishment here. Where is it? Uh, we gained a herder, herdman. That's pretty good. Oh, let's see. Maybe we want to hire him. Uh, ambitious. Lost interest. We could just release him, I guess. He's not super strong. His unit's not anything special. Yeah, let's get some goodwill and release him. Replenishment. Alright, and we got some extra experience for Smai. That's good. So we're trying to head to the Spice Market. That army got destroyed. Perfect, we can still replenish for one turn. It'll heal up mm, pretty much close to full. Maybe we'll have three units of Tribuchet instead of four. But there's no defense here. Uh, facing a full uh, retinue though, that's pretty strong. Two retinues full of armies. Wonder if it's level. What level is it? What level is the spice market? It's level. We can look at the picture and kind of figure it out. See, there's the building here, and there's a. Okay, so this is level four. All right, not bad. Get a free level four spice. You already got a free level four trade port. We need industrialists. We need higher level um, buildings in our other cities. We're gonna get them with reforms, basically. And rebellion happening soon. That's pretty exciting. Um, that's all our armies, I think. So we can go to next turn. Ah, uh, I forgot about Sima Wei's army. <laughs> They're attacking Badong Lumberyard with a very strong army here. True Spearman is their unique unit. Looks pretty strong. 53% armor. They have a lot of that. They have a lot of that. They have 16 of that. And they have true infantry. Hmm. It's gonna be hard for us to win this. I also don't think this is a defensive battle. I think this is an open field. Oh, defensive battle. Okay, we can fight this. Alright, let's try it. Alright, so our goal here is to actually try to draw this fight. Mainly because I really wanted to make peace with him. And also, I don't think we can win. The big issue here is he has crossbow unit, a repeating crossbow, a uh, crossbow unit. Okay, he has two crossbow unit, a few archer units. His cavalry is actually what concerns me the most. We want to be running and see if we can do anything like that. Okay, uh, we're back. Basically, the strategy now is we're just gonna fight them. I'm not gonna run. We're gonna have our uh, archers lined up here to shoot into the inside of the uh, base as they come out of this long corridor and just try to do as much damage as we can to these units. Uh, the crossbow units are actually gonna be firing back, of course. Uh, we're actually gonna pull these guys back. We're gonna fight at this twist here. Uh, not the smartest fight, but we'll try our best here. Probably just spread them out a little bit. Whatever can get us the most time here to shoot at them. Ooh, they actually have fire arrows. That's actually pretty scary. Alright, they're coming out. Our goal is to let the cavalry slam into us. And get the rest of the units back here to fight them in groups. Maybe we can wipe out the cavalry. Maybe we can get some damage on the units themselves. We'll see. Just gotta make sure none of their cavalry can get through to attack our uh, archers and try to give our archers the most amount of time to actually fire back. This group is getting wiped, but they're, they're still fighting. Uh, they might bounce back. We never know. The fire damage is too much though. Let's try to shoot at the archer militia. They have the most ammo. These crossbow men's gonna run out of ammo soon, so we don't have to worry about that. They bounce back? Good. Alright. I'll get them 
over here. Fight, fight back. They're not actually charging out at us, which is interesting. All right, they're done shooting. Alright. Move them over. To shoot at the unit that's coming at us. This group can try to absorb some damage. Go here. They're just crowding right there. If we get some arrows here, we can kill a lot of units. Come on, get a few shots. Few shot before they run. Okay, I think we're shooting at them now. I don't know what the AI is doing. They're clearly losing men here. All right, they rallied back. Come back. Shoot at that group right there. This group is just bait. Anyone want to shoot us? No. All right, they're bait now too. Fire all your arrows. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, we're ready to fight them here, but they're not fighting us. And we're not going to march to our death. So if this is what it is, then we're going to wait till the end of the, the round here and I'll cut everything out. So I'll let you guys know what happens. All right, we didn't try to cheat. We actually wanted to fight them. They just got stuck at the door. Their whole army was just moving at the gate. Don't know whether to come out or go back in. So we're gonna probably fight this again. They're gonna siege us again. Ah. Ration wants to sign a peace treaty with us. Of course you do now. Let's see what the negative is. 22.7. I mean, I don't think I need to sign a peace treaty with him. He doesn't have many friends. Right, his friends are the two factions that are w w uh, still at war with us. Everyone else he's at war with, so we should keep fighting him. Nope, won't say no to this. Alrighty, uh, smart way of getting more of his vassal to fight us. Sure, we're gonna actually plea peace with him this turn. Smart gonna declare war on the Empire. Sure, sure, Ray. Alright, we picked up reform. Hmm. Uh, you have been crafty and patient in your rule. You have said the right things to the right people and have last drawn the attention of the Empress. Yet you attempt to secure a high office has been blocked by her advisors. Oh, so now we can demand an appeal, become in favor with her, gain might, or we can concede and gain mind. So gaining 10 point in mind isn't going to get us anywhere. But if we get 10 more points in might, we get 5 prestige and 5 campaign movement. Which is quite nice. We also get some money and we become in favor. I don't see actual. I don't see anything bad about this. So let's get demand appeal. Okay. Alright, so a couple of key things. Um, the Lumbriar fight was weird. They just didn't fight. Um, so now with a second army coming we don't have any men to spare to go fight them so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sign a peace treaty with them wow that's pricey wow that's pricey ah uh, so we're gonna be giving away our best armors to try to smooth him over I think we can give this one up Still minus 13. Hmm. That's no good. We can give him some food. Or just money. We can just give him straight up cash. We have lots of cash. We have 100k in gold. Um, let's go a little faster. Let's type this out. Let's try... 15k. Is that too much? Uh, let's see. That is too much. Okay. That's not a lot of money. That's 
fifteen percent of our cash holdings. Um, alternatively, we can offer him gold per turn, which is safer in case he backstabs us. But it's probably going to be worse off for our economy in the long run because I prefer to have constant gold go coming in. Well, it's not a lot either. That's actually less than that's that's only what that's 25 2.5k so that's 25k that's actually a lot more than we paid f flat fee so this is how much we were paying him cash let's just divvy up the payment plan let's do 1000 per turn which is a lot and then we pay him maybe 5000 Okay, a little bit more than that. Maybe 5,500. Okay, greedy brother. Perfect. Okay, so we're paying him a little bit more than 15k. Um, but this might be less if he backstab. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he won't backstab us. Maybe we should just go for the flat payment and just trust he doesn't backstab us. Right, we, d we probably only have to pay him 14k here. Less than that, 13, 950? Okay, right, so if we pay him like this, we do give up a lot of stuff. A lot of armors we're not using, right? We're buying us time to deal with the south and the uh, east before we turn our attention back to him. We make peace with him. Sima Liao won't like that. But what does he know? We're going to lose territory if we don't make peace with him. Yeah, I think this is the way to go here. Let's do this. We can deal with Sima Liang. Sima Mao. Sima Mao is over here. Yeah, let's do this. Not the easiest decision, but... That's a big peace, de peace deal for us. Uh, a few characters. Okay. Uh, we also have the faction council missions I didn't do last time. Uh, settlement administrator. That's perfect because we're building one right now. It's going to finish in three turns. Uh, new characters. Commander here. No, champion. What am I talking about? Ch champion here. Willing to be a spy. Not bad as a spy. No, actually, no. That's for if he's a visor role. Hmm. Plus 5% industry. Unbreakable is pretty good. Otherwise, she's just young. That's the only thing going for her. I don't know if I want to marry any of my generals. Maybe Sima Jian should get a wife. Maybe. Not sure if I want kids. She has a great armor. She's old. We can recruit her just for the armor, actually. Our strategies are poorly closed, so recruit. De disrobe. Uh, nope, just get the plain old one. And we'll actually just might as well dress up our strategists. Our wife has a great... Uh, they both have good ones. I guess she's the only one without a good one, so she equip her with that. Make sure she doesn't have anything. And send her on her merry way. She's also a ruling family member. Interesting. Wonder who she married to. Alright, so we made peace over there. If we look at our diplomatic situation here, we're at war with these weak factions here. Uh, Gu Zhen over here and Rui Shen. So a th couple of weak factions. Uh, in terms of attitude, uh, people don't like us because we're getting stronger. That's the problem. We might need to have another army out soon. Yeah, but finding the right people has been really tough. Uh, our son, though, is almost time. Ah, five more years, so 25 more turns. That's quite a lot, actually. We have one general who's not doing much. We can probably recruit him out. All right, we wanted this one. Get replenishment, get population growth, and then set up for the future Onyx Dragons. 
Look at our building. Changsha's about to have a rebellion. Let's witness that rebellion. Fix up the lumber yard. They did well. Alright, pull ya. We need the end building first, for sure, to fix the noble support, and then maybe a marketplace. I'm slightly against it now because of the noble support loss. So we might go school, which would be an interesting choice. Uh, Reformation right now is negative six. Yep. So we need the appointment here. We should have him level up a bit. Structured administration. We also need structured administration in Changsha. Uh, he's happy working here, so we'll let him continue to work here. All right, so we have everyone working on reformation, right? If we don't have them working on, we only go up two per turn. If we have them working on it, we'll check next turn. It'll be pretty high, I feel. Yeah, we can check next turn for the maximum amount. Puyang is building. Wuling is building up. Okay. We need to wrap up down here soon. So we have a chance to attack elsewhere. It's a river crossing? Oh, come on. That's so slow. Alright, we'll get that next turn. Over here. We have army behind and the army going that way. He already lost this copper mine to... Uh, so this one might be lost soon too. So maybe we should grab this before he grabs it. And then we'll go back up later. Let's do that. No one's defending it. We'll fight this and cut it off. Uh, we don't have night battle. Let's just go. Alrighty. We took that fight, took some losses, charge our cavalry in for fun. Um, it's fine. Let's occupy. Alright, we gotta level up. This strategy is finally level 3. We can pick up some Archer of Jing finally. Let's pick up Precision, and then we also need Night Battle soon. Let's recruit Archer of Jing over here. Perfect. So now we need to just take care of the copper mine and then we're done with ration. Our relationship with Sima Chi, although has deteriorated quite a bit. Same with our relationship with the Jin Empire. I probably haven't spent enough time um, looking at the diplomacy screen. Um, that's my fault. So let's spend some time here now. I feel like we can get peace with them. But our main job is to make sure us and the uh, Jin Empire doesn't go to war. Oh, they're also part of Sima Liang's group. Hmm. Who do we have the option to... We have the option to make peace with everyone. He's the only one I kind of want to make peace with, because we can't really fight him. He's willing to pay us for it. That's good. We just had to spend a lot of money. And I'm feeling a little hurt that we are now paying so much just to get temporary peace because we can't deal with our brother. What is with this family? You know, brother on brother action here. Oh, actually, what am I doing? 36, I think 136 might be the magic number. Nope, 135 it is then. Perfect. Alright. Let's see, we're gonna go to war with those two. Hmm. Should probably sign it while they are willing to pay us for it. Yep. He's pretty friendly with everyone, so it's not gonna hurt us. And we'll take the other one as well. See, now more people are liking us. Wow, she has a very deep voice. It's a very scary tone. Right. He doesn't like that, but whatever. Where is he? Is he oh, he's down here. We want to kill him. We're not going to sign with him. Maybe now is our chance to improve our relationship with Sima Liang. Oh, this all-time high right now. 
Hmm. That's the fishing port. We don't really want it. He can be our buffer. Does he have anything good? Hmm. We'll just take money then. I think it's nice that we have such a good, nice amount of money that we can use to negotiate with. There we go. Alright, Ration hates it. Sima Wei hates it. But we just signed a peace treaty. I hope he doesn't backstab us. If he does, it'll save us a little bit of money. Cao Huan, Sima Yu. Hmm, Sima Yu and us are best buds. Cao Huan is trending up, trending up. I don't care about him. Trade agreement, one available. We lost one. Sima Jian, I guess they're under siege over there. Hmm, who do we want it with? Not him, because we're about to fight him. Huang Xin, where is he? Don't see him. Ju Ru, where is he? Oh, Dai Wang. Dai Wang's all the way over here. Jiang Yang Wang. Okay, he's over here. He's worth more. We get to have spice if we trade with him. Well, let's trade with him, actually. He's worth more here. Well, he's not willing to pay us for it, though. One more check here. Yeah, he's willing to pay more. It's not just trade. He's also a closer neighbor, so it's good to maintain a relationship here. I think we're pretty good now. Yeah. We could also trade with the Jin Empire, buy their territory. We really want to buy this uh, weaponsmith. Maybe they're willing to give it to us. Uh, Puyang, weapons craftsman. Oh, we also want these. Let's just see what the prices are for these. All right, weapon craftsman is cheap, sixteen point two. These two are ridiculous. So maybe we'll just buy the weapon craftsman from him. We will make a one-time payment. We are loaded with cash, and we gotta use it, or else it's just a waste. Oh wow, he doesn't see money as an issue. That's only four point six for him. Hmm. We might have to use more armor here. So we just got good armors for all our strategists. Mm, it's got a herd. Actually, we we don't need the herd men. Let's see which one we can get rid of. We got to offer the really good. Maybe we don't have to offer the really good armor. Foreman's very good. Farm ranger's pretty good. Trader is so so. Yeah, we'll just give up a wooden fish or a wooden dog, actually. And then we'll pay the rest. Although it seems like a lot of money. Maybe food. We'll give him one food. One food should be worth something. 1.1. Okay, 1.1 is fine. And... Jesus, this is going to be a lot. Um, 5,000... Oh, that's not that bad actually. 7,000? Perfect. Nailed it. Alright, let's do it. Uh, paying more heavy price for the trade port, uh, for the territory, but this is a very nice one. We really want it. It's also level 3, so we're starting to get some better weapons. That's going to be very key for us. And then they can march back up. Alright, both army has moved. What is the symbol here? Ah, uh, we don't have the resource for it. We don't have the artisan. But I think it will still produce us. I think it should still produce us the items. It just, the stat boost will drop, right? Typically it should be plus five prestige, plus 10 reserve capacity. Right now it's plus two prestige, plus three reserve capacity because we don't have the right artisan for it. 
Hmm. I don't think it will impact us. It will cease to function. It still says this can produce weapons. I'm gonna count on that. We're gonna get artisans soon, I promise. Um, let's upgrade this livestock farm that we just captured. All right, I think that's everything. We can go to the next turn and probably just end this episode after that. All right, Sima Yung signed a peace treaty, sure. All righty. Empress demand traitors be crushed. So we want help. Which one do we want to gain and get a mission for? I like wealth. Mm, pretty happy with m where might is. We don't have to get more might. Although campaign movement is pretty good. Mind is what we really like now for the ammo and research rate. Spirit is just not what I like. So if we do mind, that's missions to build. I like that. Let's do this. And we just have to build or upgrade a building. Very easy. And we get in favor, we get money. Perfect. All right. Rebellion imminent in Puyang. Imminent in Changsha. Okay, Puyang is going to go down because of we just captured a bunch of territory. But we're fine. We're going to move our army right there. Um, we'll come back to this um, next episode. But right now, our situation is we had to spend a lot of cash to appease uh, Sima Wei. And then we also had to spend a lot of cash to secure us a uh, weapon craftsman. We're still loaded. Our economy is booming. Mainly because of 2k per turn from diplomacy. Uh, we're doing great on trade. We have like six trade routes, maybe five that's functioning. And we have good amount of um, trade influence going on. Uh, 200 is our trade influence right now. And we also have good tax because we've been doing a great job building up our commanderies. So um, things look good. We need more characters. We need another army. Uh, we need to finish up getting the rest of Puyang, which means we complete Puyang. That's wonderful. We'll grab the rest of the territory from Guzhen and then go to war with Sikhan. And then we'll take over the rest of the south down here and slowly build our way back up through this part. And then we'll capture basically everything that's defined by the Yangtze River all the way to here. And we'll try to capture everything down south, secure a nice solid base, build up across the coast, and then launch assault on our brothers. In the meantime, appeasement, appeasement, appeasement. So, see y'all then. Bye!